Maybe you have watched Lee CGA from Malaysia or Victor Axelsen from Denmark do this amazing backhand smash where they jump out and do the small flick and then they turn around in the stroke. It's an amazing shot and uh, the technique they use in the shot, that is what I want to teach you in, the, in this video. So the technique in this backhand smash is more or less the same as in all other backhand shots where we want to add power using our elbow and the forearm rotation and the finger power as well. So just briefly go through the details now is that when you move out to this side, you of course change around your body position going this way. So you have the back towards the net. So you're able to generate the power with the backhand. After you have rotated around, what happens is that your elbow moves up and the elbow is a key element here. You need to move the elbow very, very fast up towards the shuttle with this movement. So that is like a, like a pre-move you do with your elbow in order for you to do the, the big whip in your forearm and when using the finger power as well. After the elbow comes up, the forearm rotation and the finger power is added to the shot. And that is where we hit the shuttle. So when we do the forearm rotation and use our finger powers, that is where we want to hit the shuttle, right at that moment. That is really important. As for the grip, this is a little bit tricky because I like to use the thumb grip but changed a little bit towards the bevel grip because if I have a clean thumb grip, when I rotate my arm, my ragged, my ragged hip is um, not parallel with the net. I will rotate too much to my left. And if I use the bevel grip, well then it's very tricky for me to add power with my thumb. So you can say that the thumb is placed somewhere in between these two grips. I will show you now um, using my GoPro camera. When I hit the shuttle, I add a kickback movement. So it will become more explosive and more fast and I can also get it more steep. So when I am using this technique, I once again have the elbow, the form rotation and the finger power and the right grip. Then I use this small kickback movement to generate more quickly uh, power in the shot and also to get it more steep. So that was the backhand smash from this position. You can try it out yourself in different, um, different heights on court. 
It can be over here, it can be all the way up. Um, but the most important thing here is that you generate all that power and you try to reach for the shuttle as early as possible to put more pressure on your opponents. Thanks a lot for tuning in this backhand smash video and thanks a lot for following on our channel, channel, channel. Thanks a lot for watching this backhand smash tutorial and thanks a lot for all of your support on the channel. Please hit the subscribe and the bell button to get our future content. Have a great day, everybody. See you.